folks, welcome to part three of Play Sports and Pointy Dogs with pro trainer Mike O'Donnell. This is the last of the three-part series and a very important part to fully understand how place boards are used to train pointy dogs. Please watch. The next thing we'll do is we'll start introducing some gunshots. So, so we're just going to fire a couple blank loads here. Again, I want the dog to stay still through gunfire. I actually want that gunfire to represent a woe command as well. So. We're just gonna, Bruce is just gonna get some shots and go behind the camera here and, and give us a couple shots and we want her. So what I'd ask you to do, Bruce, right about there, is just even kick around in the grass a little bit and then just fire a shot off in, in that direction there. Just flip straight up on the safety. There you go. And go ahead with the other one. Very good. All right, so we would do a number of repetitions of that where I just fired a shot, the dog should stay steady. Now I can put the two together. I can, I'll, I'll get Bruce to get another bird here. He'll drop a bird and then he'll fire a blank shot. So the dog is seeing those two pieces come together. I, I already know that I should stand still for a bird in flight. Um, I've been you know, taught that I need to stand still for the gunfire. And now let's see me stand still for the bird and gunfire. He's just getting set up and we'll see that. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, providing performance diets for the canine athlete, and brought to you in part by RST, manufacturers of short chamber, low pressure shot shells. Mud River Dog Products, fundamentally changing the expectations of the hunter and dog enthusiast. Pete Shoe Dryer, inventor of the footwear dryer, take on the nuisance of foot odor, Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, outfitting adventures since 1957. Visit woodenstream.com for a dealer near you. Canine Active, providing safe, non-toxic pain relief for your dog. Merkel Shotguns, robust, reliable, and intuitive. That's what matters most when every split second counts. No matter what's going on, you need to stay here for me. I've, I've got her on slack lead. I don't want to be holding her here. But I'm always watching to try and make sure that, you know, she's, she's not moving on us. Whenever you're ready, Bruce. Beautiful. That's, that's what we're looking for there. No, you know, nothing. She didn't go to move on it. She stood. How about taking a dead chucker for me, Bruce? I'm going to jump ahead. You know, so if my dog, if I do a number of repetitions like this where the dog's just standing through that, I can either start actually shooting a live flyer or I could take a dead bird in this blank shot again. And this is where it becomes more difficult because the dog sees the bird come back down to the ground. Why don't we come right over here and just throw it right at the end of the corn here. So give it a toss and then even if there's a delay on the shot, I know you got your hands full there, but go ahead. So I'm why I now I'm watching the dog. You should be as well. I, I, you know, if this was a live flyer, I'd, I'd have to be asking, did the bird get hit? Is it down? Because my job is to focus on the dog. But it's obviously it's a dead bird. It's down. Um, and now I can reward her for all this work. But even that is not the release. But she's done great work. And obviously getting that bird in her mouth is going to be the big reward. Fetch. That a girl. And here's one of my other uses for the board. I can work here. I can work my delivery by putting the board right where I want the dog to deliver to me. So I want my dog to deliver at my side. She's so familiar with the board, she's coming into a nice position for me. So as I'm working on my retrieve work and I'm sending the dog out, I don't have to keep saying here, here, or handle her a lot. She comes right into where I need her to be. Out, good girl. If I wanted the dog to finish in front of me, I'll, I'll just do a quick one here. I'll, I'm just going to step behind the board. Whoa. Fetch. If I want the dog to finish in front of me, just put the board in front of you. She's probably going to be confused because she's so accustomed to coming in into the side here. Fetch. So right there I gave her some stim because of her diddling around. Laney. No. Place. 
And I, this is, she's confused because I don't work, I don't train this. No, Laney, right here. Good, there you go, out. But we'd get the dog coming in straight to us and sitting straight in front of us. But, I mean, it's a great tool. You see how we just worked all these different pieces of bird work before we ever got back out on the bird to really build a solid understanding, a really solid steadiness on the dog. I've added in distraction, added in distraction. You know, one more step I could even do before I go out to the field for, you know, for folks who say, well, what's the dog gonna do without the board? You know, they, they put it together, but I could, if Bruce, can you just throw me a piece of carpet there? We could go from the board to just a piece of carpet and, and get, you know, that transition over if you feel you needed more of a transition, but just be, you know, instead of the board, I could have the carpet. Come here. Laney here. And she's identifying with that piece of carpet right here. Whoa. And then again, it's just it, it's it's really not that important because you should come off the board, be able to say whoa, and have that dog standing for you. And and again, now this dog, she's she's right there. She's ready to be say whoa and have a much higher success rate of her standing still through all the, the excitement that goes along with that. That's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that three-part series with Mike O'Donnell. Very valuable information, and it's certainly some new techniques that I've learned and I want to apply to my pointing dogs. So we want to thank Mike O'Donnell for his time. We want to thank Quail Ridge Kennel and Preserve for allowing us to use their property to film this three-part series. Folks, have a good time out in the field. Train your dog. Thanks a lot for watching. Bird Dogs Afield, presented by Native Performance Dog Food, and brought to you in part by RST Shot Shells, Mud River Dog Products, Peach Shoe Dryer, Wooden Stream Outdoor Footwear, Canine Active, and Merkel Shotguns.